sorry. Obviously, your second year here, probably a lot more comfortable. You know, talked to Heath this morning, talking about the guys on special teams he relies on, and you're the first guy that he names. I mean, how do you embrace that role of leader, and how much more comfortable do you feel? Oh, it's day and night how much comfortable. You know how I feel now. Uh, like being able to have OTAs this year. You know, last year we didn't have OTAs. We're doing everything on Zoom. And then uh, first time I'm getting around all the guys was training camp. So that was definitely tough, you know. Uh, I definitely was trying to let my actions speak louder than my words, you know. But being here for a year, uh, I feel like I'm definitely getting more comfortable being vocal, you know. Uh, guys just ask me questions all the time, you know. Uh, we'll be in meetings uh, with Heath. And, and I'll just, like, like, that's what I love about Heath. He, like, will tell you, like, like speak up, like sort of like what Reed was saying, he's a player coach, uh, he's done it before, so he knows like, you know, like if he's missing a point, you know, speak up. Uh, and I feel like now, like with a year under my belt here, I'm definitely, I find myself speaking up in meetings and stuff and just telling guys, hey, look for this, look for that, uh, and just trying to help the guys out as much as I can. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think you signed an extension, right, in the off season? Yes, sir. Okay, what went into that for you, um, you knowing you had one year left and decide to, you know, make sure you add on to it? Yeah, uh, I mean, this, this is an unbelievable place. You know, I love it here. Uh, I feel like I'm Buffalo, like, head to toe, you know, that blue collar chip on your shoulder. I feel like that's me, you know, my whole story and stuff. Uh, and there really isn't any other place I'd rather be, you know. Uh, I mean, we've got a great group of core guys here. Um, I mean, from top to bottom, I mean, you look at our whole roster when we're out there, I mean, there's there's just guys everywhere that could are potential to make a play, you know, and, and I love that. I love that competitiveness, you know, and I think that's awesome what coach does every single day, Coach McDermott, you know, and just challenging guys every single day to compete, and uh, and that's what I just, like, really embrace and I love about it here. One of those guys is Daryl Johnson. Uh, most people would see someone of his size and not necessarily assume he'd be a special teams guy from someone who's been around special teams as much as you have. What maybe makes him unique in, in what he's able to do? Oh, man, it's just his size, you know? Shoot, I remember when we played him when I was in pit, and just, like, when we got the scouting report, you see the size of the dude. You watch him on film, and I'm like, damn, like, how the heck am I going to buy like, this 6'6 six, six guy, like, 280, you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to block him. But, and then once you get around him in person, you realize he's even bigger than he is on paper, you know? Uh, but a guy like that, uh, he, he's got so much upside to him, you know what I mean? Because guys don't want to block him. Like, I see him running down on kickoff. They don't want to get in his way, you know? Uh, I mean, you turn on the film, you see what he does. If someone does try to get in the way, uh, every team, they got to double him. And, I mean, I know he gets frustrated at times because he's like, man, I'm getting doubled. But, shoot, that is just as important as making the tackle, you know what I mean? He's taking two guys out of the play so someone else could go make the play. Uh, and I think a guy like that, he's just really understanding now, like how to really embrace that role. Uh, and it's important to our team. How challenging is it as a player? I mean, Darrell wants to play and play as much on the defensive line as possible. I'm sure you, you would like to play as much a linebacker for especially young players. What's your message to them to embrace the, the role that they have out there on special teams? Yeah, it, it, it's tough, you know. Uh, I know, especially for young guys, you know, they want to come in, they want to make an impact on offense or defense. But, uh, shoot, they got, they got to understand, you know, special teams is just as important. You know, it's a third of the game. Uh, and, I mean, you could do it for a long time just playing teams, you know. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're still preparing as if you're a starter. You know, when you're out there, even though you're a four-phase four player on special team, you're still preparing as if you're going to be starting like, and that's how you have to approach every single game, you know? And I, I always think it's funny now, like, being in year six, uh, I see, like, young guys get frustrated, you know? And, and it's always funny because I'll go up to them and talk to them and be like, hey, man, like, like don't worry. Like, your time's going to come, you know what I mean? Uh, you just got to be patient and do whatever you could do to help the team out. And then when your number's called, you just got to be ready for your moment, you know? And uh, as long as you prepare like that, no moment's too big. You guys were in the top five in kickoff coverage last year. Uh, just what do you think went right? What was what went? A couple of things that went into that. Yeah, I, th I think it was just like everyone doing their job. You know, um, I mean, definitely having like a, another year under my belt here. Like I'm definitely getting comfortable with all the guys. Uh, getting comfortable with T Bass, uh, even like Taiwan, Quan, like Saran, all these guys, knowing how they're gonna run down on kickoff. Like if they're gonna run a, run to the run to the sideline or go back door. You know, I'm getting the feel for how they're playing the game. So that just makes my life easier because if I'm running down, I know you're going to go back door. I'm not even going to be thinking about it. I'm just running down, going the other way, you know, and just getting ready to make a play. Uh, so it's definitely, it's definitely huge. That opening kickoff against Pittsburgh, was that your coverage play of the year? <laughs> yeah, I definitely was a little excited for that one. Definitely might have had that 
game circled a little bit yeah, all year. So you're a Bill now, but Pittsburgh week one, does that just put a smile on your face? You know? Oh, definitely. You know, I just can't, I'm just so happy to be back here, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, it's just even a little better, you know, that we get to play Pitt uh, and stuff like that. So I'm definitely excited. You talk about learning your teammates. You, you lost Andre uh, as your primary returner. So what, what kind of an adjustment will, will that be for yourself and for everyone blocking for whoever it is ends up you know, winning those jobs? Yeah, I think, uh, I think everyone saw what could happen. You know, we, like, unfortunately, we lost Dre, uh, but we got a pretty, pretty okay guy back there, 1-9. Uh, he's all right. He's pretty quick, you know, Isaiah. But, uh, but no, I mean, he's gonna, I know he's going to do an excellent job back there. Uh, and, I mean, he's just, he makes us look good, you know. Uh, all we got to do is hold the block for a couple seconds, and he's off to the races. And, uh, I mean, everyone saw what happened last year. At, at the end of the year when we played Miami, you know what I mean? You just give him a couple seconds, and he's going to make you look good. So, I mean, it's going to be nice. Tyler, you signed with this team right in the middle of COVID. Um, what did you learn about maybe Buffalo or this franchise that you didn't know when you signed? Uh, she was probably just like the family-oriented. You know what I mean? It really is a, a, a tight niche group here. You know what I mean? Top to bottom, everybody from upstairs to the players. Uh, all the way to like equipment, you know, everyone really is a family here. Uh, and shoot, I always, I get it around like the neighborhood too. Uh, when we were in Pittsburgh, like we come home from games and nobody would do anything. I come home here, first game when we played the Jets, there was probably like 40 people outside my house. And I'm like, the heck's going on? You know, they're just going nuts and stuff. Uh, so you definitely get that. I got that feel real quick. Um, you, you mentioned Daryl Johnson and what he brings at his size. It's hard not to kind of wonder what could be with a guy like Gregory Rousseau. What's been your impact of him playing when he's out there with you on special teams? Yeah, I mean, he's just he's uh, huge, huge, <laughs> too. But, uh, but he's just how athletic he is. You know what I'm saying? It, it really is amazing how, how big these guys are, but at the same time, they can move. Uh, that's sort of like the scary thing, you know? Um, but, I mean, he's got so much upscale to him. Uh, the kid's got so much potential, and uh, each day he's just he, – every day he asks questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, like, Ty, how, how you doing this? How you doing that? Uh, and I think that that is so important. You know, sometimes guys are a little hesitant to ask questions, but as a young guy, you, you got to pick vet's brains. You know what I'm saying? That's what they told me when I was a rookie, just to ask so many questions. So I would be asking guys questions all the time. Uh, and it, it's funny now how, like, the roles have sort of switched. You know, I got guys asking me questions, but I love that. You know what I'm saying? And, and that just, like – it just shows me like how much like he really wants to get better. You know what I mean? We saw Tremaine Edmonds make a number of big plays today. What does he bring? What energy does he bring to camp every day? Man, he's the leader of the defense. You know what I mean? Uh, every day, everybody, whatever way he's going, everyone's going that way. Uh, his energy, his work ethic. I mean, it truly is amazing. Uh, and you know, I was with both of his other brothers in Pitt, uh, and now I'm with him here, and. It's, it's just unbelievable, like, how good he really is, you know, and, and his size and his, his athletic ability, uh, his playmaking ability. Um, it really is amazing. I mean, he really is the leader of the defense in this team. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, appreciate it.